Very low energy droids, you are correct, sir. Icons everywhere! Oh, don't you even worry, most of the icons were hidden underneath OBS. There's a lot more icon icons than you think. And, uh, 90% of those icons are games I have installed, so... <laughs> yeah. All of the games, all of the time. Folders. That's just an extra step you have to go through. That's not convenient at all. But you see, I have my icons, uh, they're organized by, by uh, group. So every block of icons is games for a different purpose, so I don't have trouble keeping track of it. Julie just went down like a bitch. Come on, old man. Something so weak. Oh yeah, isn't Von Helton's desktop just like... The whole thing is just pure icons everywhere. There's no gaps. I think he uses his, uh, his Karate Kyle skills to sort through them all. Keep them all straight in his head. Is this just a never-ending wave of enemies or something? Don't you only stand back up, you jerks? Come on. More like the jerk side, am I right? I, mean, I can't just move on to the next area. I haven't assembled my party. I can say it, yeah. Imagine if you made sure the icons were all colored a certain way. So that you're, uh, it makes like a new picture on your desktop. Who needs wallpaper when you've got... Shortcut icon mosaics. Come on, Jolie. Get your ass up. There we go. One more. Uh, Alright. That was a crazy ass fight. That would not have been good for T3 at all. Just walk around and collect everybody's belts off the floor. A lot of people are missing their pants right now.
when you die in Star Wars, you become a belt. <laughs> the, the light side Jedi turn into ghosts, and everybody else turns into a belt. By the way, Lo, uh, I remember last time I was hanging out on your, on your uh, stream there, uh, Evan went and subscribed to my channel, but I don't know if he ended up watching anything, so I never got any feedback out of him. I don't know if he said anything. He's a quiet guy a lot of the time, he seems like. What are you guys doing back there? Nothing? Great, that's what I thought. You will fall. Good teammates, guys. Doggo, that should be the new meme. Instead of doing thanks to Obama memes, we should do thanks Disney. I can't okay, get these other guys level 20. I mean, that's fair low energy. I don't actually drop YouTube comments very often either. Because most channels don't res don't really reply to them anyway, so it becomes kind of pointless. I always kind of feel like, why, why bother commenting if nobody's going to have a conversation about it, you know? Although sometimes other viewers will. That's the only reason I do it sometimes. Damn, lightsabers everywhere. Ridiculous. Die to my laser sword. Welcome to die. I learned that one from Magneto. Ooh, power gauntlets. I think somebody on my team could still use that. Oh no, never mind. We've all got awesome strength gauntlets already. You accidentally started a furry flame war? video on history. That's awesome. I don't know how you turned a, a history video into a furry war, but good job. Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself. This will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Star Forge. Revan? But the force is bringing us a shocking confrontation with my old master. The Star Forge has drawn our enemies together, so they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastula, but it is unfounded. The power of the Star Forge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old no. master. Stay no, here won't. in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, Master. I will not fail you again. I don't know why she was so shocked to hear that we were on the battle sh on the Star Forge. Like, but there was absolutely nothing stopping them from getting here. How did they possibly get here? Perhaps you will triumph, Bastula. But even if you fail. It will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Star Forge. <laughs> oh, shit. Did I say that out loud? Oh, no. 
I mean, never mind. Let's use a gun in the melee against a guy with lightsabers. That will be a good idea. What's the best way I can attack these guys? I know. I'll attack them using the weapon that they can bounce back at me with, with their lightsabers. As Jedi are well known to do. not hear me say that, Bastila. That was my soliloquy. You know the way of these things. It is dramatic. I want to know where they got this many Dark Jedi from. I guess Foraman. Have the academy there and shit. Don't mind me, I'm just ninja looting in the middle of battle while you guys do the work for me. Another thing that's funny with Bastila, she's like, Oh, they freed me from my servitude to the Jedi Council. So now I kiss up to this guy as, the, as his apprentice and do everything he tells me to do instead. How's that different? You can't tell me what to do. But okay, this guy can tell me what to do, though. That bald head is sexy and makes my dark places tingle. Dark side places tingle with the force. If they replace lasers with bullets, Star Wars would just become the Matrix. Yeah. Everybody would just be like dodging backwards. I have no idea where the hell I'm going, I'm just following the trail of enemies. I will be your doom! I mean, yeah, Star Wars does have ballistic weapons, but you don't see them use them very often. They seem to be the exception to the rule, you know? Yeah, the Sand Raiders. Uh, not very many others that do, though. You spin the me a light round, baby, a light round. We did this joke before, before. It would actually be easier to kill a Jedi with a bullet than a laser, though, because wouldn't they still be able to block the bullet with the lightsaber? It would just, like, melt the bullet. Might be a little splash of slag, metal slag on, you know, still. But you can still give him some burns, I guess. Actually, uh, there's one guy on YouTube who used to watch his videos on, on uh, role-playing games. He made a, a character in the 
uh, the tabletop version of this game. Like the D20 system that this game uses, the tabletop version of it. He made a character who was just like a regular mercenary guy, but who was built specifically to be able to kill a Jedi without being a Jedi. So he had stuff like grenades and flamethrowers and stuff. Block a flamethrower with a lightsaber. And come on, yes, you can't see a bullet like you can see a laser doggo, but you know the Jedi aren't blocking their lasers based on seeing them. They feel them with their Jedi sense. They're blocking them with their amazing psychotic powers. And they can do that with a bullet as well. So you'd have to do something that just sprays a large amount of bullets very quickly and uh, unpredictably like a, like a minigun. You have to use a minigun or, like I said, a flamethrower or something. Yes, they're amazing psychotic powers. I know what I said. <laughs> um, or maybe a missile launcher. Block that, asshole. <laughs> a wall of bees. Is, wall, is the wall of bees the attack or the defense? Revan, <laughs> I knew you'd come for me. I submit that the answer is yes. Sadly, I know this is true. Had you reclaimed the power of your previous identity, I would be your apprentice, not Malak's. But you rejected the dark side. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. You know, that's a good question, actually. If I had gone full dark side, would she have rejoined me at this point, or what? Would she have been like, Malak's a pussy, you're much stronger, Master. Let's beat him up together and then... and then hump all over the place. So be it! <laughs> look at that, look at that! <laughs> I took off half her health with the first attack. <laughs> Oh, I'm so worried about this battle. I see now why Malak followed you. Even though you're only a shell of your Two hits self, again. You're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I Not based on how that battle went out, it didn't. With the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Mm -hmm. did, did she even do any damage to me in this fight? That's a legitimate question right now, actually. Jedi propaganda. The dark side is only a tool, and mm -hmm. Malak will train You're a me tool. Use. Eventually, I will surpass my master and challenge him. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. Oh, well, it's our now. You've been a dark Jedi for, what, a day? No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. Um, let's check the stats. Nope. Full health. She didn't even do a single point of damage to me. Oh, look. The damage I did to her on that final attack is still hovering in the air. 48, 26. <laughs> I must have gotten a crit on her. Oh, it's beautiful. The Force fights with me. Okay, now she did some damage. <laughs> Your strength falters. Slab. The dark side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re energizes me. Soon this will all be over. Oh my god. They did not stat her well for this, for making her a boss. 
Are they just using her actual stats she had when she was on my team? The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. Uh -huh. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. That guy who tortured me for a week promised me stuff, and he wouldn't lie to me, would he? You cannot win. Oh, it took me three hits to kill her this time. <laughs> this is not possible. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Is you dumb? Yes, I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. What other choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. You can reject the dark side, Bastila. Return to the light. No. I am not strong enough. That's true. There is too much anger inside You're me. You're not strong now. at all. Too much hatred and fear. I can no longer find peace in the Force. A sword. Use our bond then. Take your strength from me. You always had more strength than I did. I told you that. I felt so helpless before your destiny. You were Revan and I couldn't tell you. It was agonizing. Even worse when I began to feel closer to you. I despise Go myself on. For it. And even now, I feel your strength. How close, girl. Thank you. I think I can face the end now. If you were the one to end it for me. Actually, low energy videos, you make a good point. Become a Grey Jedi. She can apprentice to Jolie. That would be cool. Look into your heart, Bastila, and you would find the light. There is nothing in my heart oh. but the blackness of the dark side. Boo. I'm sick of your preaching. Right? My preaching! You for Excuse me! Death, but you were too weak to even grant me that. No more words. This must end with blood. Excuse me. My preaching. Say what? Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? <sighs> how do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? Have you seen how effective you are in combat? If you turn against me in the final battle, I'm not even going to notice. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my light. No, you really couldn't. Not based on the available evidence. You won't, Bachelor, because I love you and I believe in you. You are brave, and some would say foolish. But you were also right. Let's go ahead have some make some kinky Sith love. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. Of this I have little doubt. He will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. And you said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too. With all my heart. A funny way of showing it, bitch. After this? No. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. You should go. Malak awaits. This isn't over yet. For any of us. I should stay here, though. If we face Malak, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. I don't know. I know something else you can expose yourself to instead. Much safer. Yes, that would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith. Even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love. And may the Force be with you. You're the only of a blender loving a toaster. Yep. Really not a very emotional uh, voice performance, is it? 
And of course, my character's not voiced at all. That's how you make a pair of Fair. pants character. You make sure they're not voiced. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, Give them as little personality in. as possible. I'm a right proper pair of pants, I am. Green Squadron's through. We've broken their lines. If it worked for Gordon Freeman, it was for literally every single other character. Yep, pretty much. Me too. Alright, I have no idea where I'm going now. Let's explore. Spike? Type B spike bin. Well, okay. Not a very good spike bin. There's no spikes in it. I like how they put compute hacking spikes right next to computers. Not that anything's got any spikes in it or is turned on. I'm not even going to waste my time checking all these terminals. Let's just keep walking. Also, where the hell is my team? Why is my party not with me? What kind of plot train GM horse shit is this? I don't know, I think it's pretty fun. I was in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Starforge fuels my command of the Dark Side. You are no match for me here, and this time you will not escape. It is you who cannot escape, Malik. Surrender, and the Jedi may show you mercy. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. That can be arranged. No, I was saved from the darkness, Malak. You can be too. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. Save your preaching, Revan. I will have none of it. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have Spec. I like you in bacon. every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you. A Star Forge. How does it feel having me deep inside you? Eh, 
Who knows? More droids. <laughs> the Star Fork does crabs. Mm-hmm. I'm a force wave, suckers. Take your AoE. Death by Ripple. Another massive wave battle. How much fun is that? I mean, come on, guys. I can't. I'm max level. I can't even earn any XP right now. What's the point of all this? This isn't actually endless. Just thought I probably actually could just bugger off. Since I don't have a team to res. I don't know if it'll let me though. Right, if any more guys show up after these guys, okay. Let's try to lose them. Bye. Aha, fuck your fight. Alright, I'll be right back guys, I need to get a new drink, I'm all out of beer.